Netherlands, I think. Um, so on the back, I just stitch some paper. There's a bit of fabric there as well. And so that's how it looked like here. Just leftover lace and leftover little bits and pieces. And I wasn't sure about that staying there, so I put a little pin to hold it in. There's the next page there. There was a little raggedy. This was something I made a while ago. It's a little pocket. little goodies in there and yeah I really like the way that turned out very cute bits of lace and oh there's lots of uh, mica flakes and that dusty thing from Tim Holtz distress and the Tim Holtz distress stickers yeah and um, it just goes over like that, and that turns over, and on this side you can see the beautiful little lighting flower there. Getting very chunky. Another one of these gorgeous scales, and over here is a little wax seal envelope bags. I just glue one end there, and that allows me to put little cute little things inside and use them as bags. over here I made these a while ago these are little pins oh it's coming off uh, these are the most cutest little glycine bags I'll show you made that with the glycine bag look how tiny these are <laughs> I bought them a while ago so tiny and um, yeah this is just an altered playing card I made not long ago actually I think I'll put the tutorial up I like the way that turned out the collaging on that Since there was a bit of yellow here and the blue here from the birds, I thought I'd put a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, make the bow. Fake guest check, real vintage playing car. <laughs> you wouldn't know that's a fake guest check, would you? So on this side, some more of my love, beloved peach. This is a lovely... This is the lovely letter, envelope, sorry, to this, yeah, and that's been done with the lovely wax seal with a D. And over here, uh, just do the stamping and the appliques. I love this cluster here. It reminds me of um, my cottage crafts, the lovely, previously known as Scrap and Happy XA Jeanette. Um, this reminds me of her style so much. Beautiful. 
just a bit of lace, wedding dress, the vintage music paper, Tim Holtz doll, cheesecloth. Yeah. And I love the way this paper turned out embossed looking, even though it's not. It was done on that plastic um, doily stuff. And if you press it down enough, when it dries up, it looks like that. And that's why I was able to emboss this side. I mean, rub it with that stuff, that um, this stuff. And that's it. And that is it. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry. I drag on a bit so that's the last page here um, again another card collage card and this was made from paper I'll turn it with a little seal thing and I've just put like yeah I think I might copy dye that I just chucked it in last minute but yeah yeah thanks for watching and that is my little book and i put these on the corners to protect it and it's so big that for me to <laughs> close it um yeah i'm using this and i didn't want to do it this way because of that so i'm doing it this way um now look I'm open to selling it I just wish it didn't take me so long to make one um, only because it takes me so long to make one that and the effort involved I think I'd probably sell it for 150 Australian but yeah I could make something less chunkier with less pages and maybe for a hundred probably but that's my little chunky monkey thing thanks all for watching okay i'll put the links below to my zibbard store and also um if i remember the other places that i talked about okay bye